So, Check one, two. guys, we do yeah. the intro. If you've watched the show before, I always intro with welcome to Fireteam Chat, right? There's I so guess. many of you here today. I thought we would do it together. I thought it would be a little fun thing that we could do. Actually, Fran thought of it. i got to give him credit. But <laughs> I'm reading right, this right. one of show. It's a team it's effort. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. So we're going to go one, two, three, welcome to Fireteam Chat. You game? That works. Right. We want everybody to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go. One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Fire Team, Team Chat. Chat. Yeah. That was excellent. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nice. Thank We've you got guys. room. The outro later. So if you, if you don't know the show, this is IGN's Destiny Show. We talk about Destiny every week. You can find us on YouTube.com slash Fire Team Chat, where we have everything Destiny on IGN and yeah. on the internet news, etc. Yeah. Where can they find you? You play a lot of Destiny after yeah, hours, Yeah, twitch.tv right? slash the Destin channel. You can watch CJ try and carry me, and we argue a lot. <laughs> and then we Fran do. puts on his costume in the tower. Tower and casuals. And then he switches yeah. it again yes. before we actually get the ball rolling. And, uh, uh, <laughs> on a serious note, let's talk about why we're here today. We're here I'm going to plug Con. my channel. After you, Fran plugs his the, channel. <laughs> find Destin at the Destin channel. I'm over at FM3 underscore. This is on Twitch. You can find us on Fireteam Chat. And CJ started to stream a bit at... A little bit. The Video Guy TV, but mostly on Twitter as at Gibson Films. I kind of just okay. follow these guys around, hang yeah. out, hang out in their CJ channel. still learning how to talk into a mic properly? Stop that, Destin. <laughs> All right. Audio uh, seems pretty loud on the good. chat, I guess. Yeah, we're but, pretty good. That's good. Okay. Okay, so, Fran... Yeah. I was trying to throw it to you to congratulate what everybody here has helped be a part of for the St. Jude's Children Health St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Fight against cancer. Yeah. One point mm -hmm. two million dollars. That is absolutely That's fantastic. Give yourselves yeah. a hand. Seriously. Yeah. That's insane. Uh, it's it's humbling to be a part of a community that can come together and make something like that happen. And thanks to Broman and Gothalian and yeah. everybody who invited us to be out here. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That was 2.24 times the amount raised last year based on that amount. So Definitely. keep going, by the way. It doesn't end uh, yesterday or today. Uh, they still need help. So St. Jude's, fight cancer and help out. But everybody, thank you for being a part of it. Um, you should congratulate yourself. So. Definitely. You. Yeah. All right. So what are we going to talk about today? That's probably what you're wondering. We've been teasing it a little bit. We're actually going to talk a lot about Destiny 2 because our IGN first in July is going to be Destiny 2. Yeah. We so just got good. back from Seattle. We visited the Bungie guys, and we actually have a message here. We're going to have to do this low tech, so if you want to yeah. watch it, uh, the VOD <laughs> later, it's going to be all edited together, all pretty. But we have a message from Luke Smith over at Bungie. Let me just make sure my volume's turned Hopefully up here. Hopefully you can hear it low in these tech. microphones. Yeah. So we, yeah. we didn't test this yet. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm going to restart it here. Hey everyone, this is Luke from Bungie. I know right now you're sitting in the audience, you're about to watch Fireteam Chat Live, and I wish I could be there with all of you in the audience. Last year, I had an amazing time at Guardian Con, and I met so many people and groups of people who'd brought, been brought together through this game that we all love, Destiny. Obviously, we're a little busy right now finishing Destiny 2, so we couldn't make the trip this year. DJ and Cosmo are down there though, so make sure you say hi to them, have them sign body parts, etc. We just have the IGN guys up in the studio for a feature they're doing called IGN First, where during the month of July, they're gonna have a bunch of sweet, exclusive, brand new Destiny content. And while Destin was asking me all these questions and telling me I need to know more, I need the scoops, I had to remind him and Fran over and over, guys, it's Destiny's IGN First, not IGN everything. We've got a lot more this summer that we're going to talk about and share, and we'll see you soon. I'm busy working on the game with the rest of the team. I would like to be there, but I can't be. I wish I could be there. We all wish we could be there. Nice. Hopefully. So he loves here. you guys. The, a lot of people from the team, of course, wanted to be here. DJ and Cosmo are here, and shout out to them for supporting this awesome community. But yeah, so. We have a ton of Destiny 2 stuff on the way, and today we can talk about a little bit of it, tease it. The first piece of content on IGN is going to be hitting July 5th, and it's going to be a tour of a new space in the game, a new social space, the farm. So that's what we're launching with. You're going to get a nice look at that. The developers showed us around, showed us what you can kind of expect in that area. And then we go on from there. There's going to be 
I'm trying to think, how would I write this in article form to tease it but not give everything <laughs> away? Trying to give away yeah. the, uh, the info. So there's going to be a lot of interviews. We're going to talk about PVP. There's going to be some PVP announcements throughout the month. And you can find out more Yay. soon on go.ign.com slash destiny2. That link will be live this evening. Yeah. And the most important thing, new exclusive gameplay and footage, right? Oh. Yeah, and yeah. tons of exclusive gameplay, of yeah, course. Yeah, that's kind of a big, yeah. yeah. So, Fun. yeah. so we're excited about that. I mean, the fact that the beta is coming out in just a few weeks, but in literally all through the month, not only do we get to play it, we're going to see stuff that's coming. And thank you to Bungie and Luke and the whole team for working with us. Uh, it was a dream come true for us. We were just there on Monday and Tuesday, and now we're sitting here with all the Guardians that care as much as we do. Uh, I mean, can't wait for you guys to see the stuff that we saw. We can't really talk about it yet, but we're going to react a little, I think. We're going to talk a little bit about it today. We went, we went Twitter MIA after Destin and I. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw. I tweeted a photo of Destin passed out on an airplane. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. that, uh, that was the beginning of the trip. He fell asleep uh, right after that. <laughs> yep. All right, so let's actually talk about something. <laughs> but the rest, so, yeah. Yeah, we have about a dozen pieces of content coming down the road. And let's talk about our Destiny 2 impressions while kind of skirting that line of saying, yes, we played it, we can talk about some stuff, we can't talk about others. So, Time to Kill has yeah. been increased dramatically. Voila. Uh, you guys have probably noticed that in the videos, right? How do you feel about that, Fran? Start with you. Yeah, I mean, we were th this came up because we were talking about it so much. Like, we've now gone back to this for a third time. Um, and man, like, PvP especially, uh, it has changed the game. It is not... Mm -hmm just a light change. And I say that because I find myself in totally different situations where I can choose to evade or drop a nade. There's just enough time now to create more strategy. And that's the best way I can describe it. Um, I would also say as a lower tier to okay player, 1.0 okay, he's, maybe he's okay. getting there. I know. <laughs> I'm, not, up. I'm not he's triple rack up. or any of these folks like wish you luck in that. But uh, I love it. And so I now feel like I know what I'm doing. I have time to do new moves and do new things. So it feels really good, you know, and that's something we can talk about. So that's how, how I'm feeling about it. CJ, I really you're like a big it. trials player. This is important to you. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I think even initially when Destiny first came out, it felt odd to me that Trials, which is, you know, the big game mode that everybody's been playing, was 3v3. I mean, traditionally Bungie's been a 4v4 kind of, you know, studio. Uh, they're back to that now, so that's really good. And the Time to Kill is more traditionally aligned with what Halo used to be. I remember first playing Destiny, I felt like you could kill people very quickly. Uh, you know, so it's not that it's bad, but it is very different. So if you've played a lot of Destiny like I have, how many players have played maybe more than 1,000 or 2,000 hours? Yeah. There you go. Lots Basically, everybody there. in this room. Wow. So exactly. So you're gonna fe it's going to feel different, and there's going to be that time where you're adjusting to certain weapons, and they're obviously they're going to change the meta for pulse rifles versus hand cannons. There's new other you know, guns in the mix. So uh, yeah, it's different, but it's exciting. I, I really liked it a lot. Definitely. So I don't know where I fall. It, it takes a little bit of adjusting to get used to taking that time to kill people, but I think that's only because we haven't found optimal weaponry to use and optimal loadouts. Yeah. I was talking to the DIM guys earlier. Shout out to DIM. It's one of my favorite services yeah. <laughs> for yes. the community. Who uses DIM out here? <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody, right? No surprise. Lifesaver. So, yeah. And they brought up a good point. The new system is going to be, uh, where is it here? Anyway, it's like armor, recovery, and agility. Yeah. So those are the statistics that you're going to be statting into instead of int dis strength. It's going to take us a while to break that habit. But anyway, we're playing the, what we've played and what we've seen people play. They don't really get that opportunity to get into the minutia, the little details of Destiny 2. And I think we're going to see the community devour all this information when it comes out and develop those weapon loadouts that are optimal for switching between your primary kinetic damage to your... your uh, special power uh, power ammo yeah, yeah there you did I'll it. get there it's I'll hard get to there. not say heavy anymore <laughs> yeah. it's kinetic energy and power and yeah. then the the elemental yeah i think that's what it's called anyway i just think people haven't had enough hands on time to get there and one thing that's going to be a game changer is definitely the new weapon rolls which luke smith actually talked about in an interview with mashable are going to be static but they are looking in ways to looking at ways to change them up I think this means that there's going to be some sort of mod slot that you can unlock stuff for. What do you think, Fran? I don't know. The quote in Mashable was uh, written in a way that was saying, you know, if you get the better devil's hand cannon, that is better devil's. 
And he went on to say, like, oh, how do we solve for the eighth, ninth, and tenth one you get being something better? And it was uh, basically saying, we're working on it, and that may not even be there at launch. So I'm just reacting to the idea of that, the, that the grind may not be there. So I don't know about this mod idea. I, I haven't really thought past the system shock of, like, wait, I'm not going to grind out or get, well, oh, look at my IS Luna. Uh, but we need to know more, I think. That was something introduced later in the game, though. Like, in year one, do you guys remember year one, you would run to your vendor, you would get your Vanquisher or your Shadow Price, and it would be that static roll, so it was an even playing field. So for me, I'm into it. Let's ask the crowd to cheer for a second if <laughs> you like this. Do you like this, anybody? All uh, right. The change? Yeah. Boo if you don't like it. <laughs> Interesting. All right, and a lot of people seem fairly neutral. Some people seem to like it, so I think we all just need to see it in action before we like make a final decision, right? But, but they kind of did yeah. a little bit of this. I mean, that was Vault of Glass yeah. year one when you raided. You got locked drops, and then yeah. they kind of changed it a little bit for year two and three. Like, Taken King, you got a few different perks in the middle. So, um, yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I kind of liked that whole Vault. This is what the weapon is. You get it. Yeah. It's what, you know, you can get used to. So, yeah, if, it, if it's that way, I mean, that's okay with me. Yeah, so the, the quote from Luke is, there aren't random rolls on weapons anymore. Better Devils is a crucible hand cannon in Destiny 2, and what it has on it is what it has on it, period. So that's what he's saying. But Fran also had an additional follow-up where they do say they're looking into options. So just to yeah. reiterate, we don't know what the finalized form of this is. It seems like Bungie is still tinkering with a few ideas, and they haven't... I mean, like, the systems are all there. We've seen it, we've played it. Uh, I mean, I don't mean at Bungie this week. I just mean at the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see how they decide to iterate those little details. Yeah. Or create yeah, those I, little details. I think it's important to, to clarify the rest of the quote of why are they doing this, right? That's a question we always ask when they make these changes. Um, and so what they're saying, right, is you can look at all, as an example, you can look at all the hand cannons now and track the data for everything. So it is a good point. Now, how everybody uses it, when you try to balance that, is, is locked in, right? I think that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and he went on to say, it's going to give us more flexibility to do per item tuning. That's something we haven't had before because of the way we were building the first game. So, you know, again, he goes back to how can the second, the third, better devil be better? That's a question we should be asking and answering as quickly as we can. So it's not that they don't understand this is something everybody appreciates. You know, but I think there's valid points. Another reason I like this is because it makes exotics all that more coveted. Those right. are going to be the weapons that you really want. And you're going to have to carefully select which one goes in your primary, secondary, and heavy slot. I'm calling them that. They're going to have yeah. to deal with yeah. it. Until I get it, it. It's a trip, too. To, um, I don't know. Has anybody in the audience played Destiny 2 yet? Yeah. There's a few, few out there. Three. Yeah. Um, You'll know what I'm talking about. They, like just the idea of having two hand cannons, or one's an exotic hand cannon, and the other is a scout up top, and then the mm -hmm. power weapon. It really changes the game, and with the time to kill and everything, it is a. I kept saying it was kind of the same song in a different key. I don't know if that's accurate enough. It might be, um, you know, the same band's new album. But uh, my point is that it feels the same. But man, there's some serious changes coming, and uh, the more that we've seen of it, that feeling is like, wow, this is. Right? Yeah. It's different. And when right. we were playing uh, you know, the initial uh, game at uh, D2, the reveal event, uh, I don't know how many times I saw in the comments when I think I was the hunter picking up special ammo, I would switch to my sniper, which is now power ammo. Yeah. And so psychologically, I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, a purple. What's this? There's a green. What like your brain really has a little bit of a time yeah. trying to decipher what yeah, weapon you we, sniper used to be green. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. We talked about this and also before when the special weapons were snipers, fusion, shotgun. You knew you were switching to your special. Yeah. Because it's so different from your primary. Now your primary and your special or your whatever they're called primary and special are the same. Yeah. So it's a little awkward. Like it's it's going to take a little bit of a learning to get used to. I think. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's changing is how clans work. You all read the weekly update this week, I'm assuming. So one thing that's changing is how clans are going to be migrated into Destiny 2. You're going to have to decide if you're a Destiny 1 clan or a Destiny 2 clan. I can tell you right now, the IGN clan, it's going to be migrating into Destiny 2. We're probably not going to start fresh, but we might retroactively start a Destiny 1 clan again using the, the splintering method. How, how many people here have a clan or have managed the clan? 
Wow, wow. lots wow. of people. That's crazy. It's awesome. pretty. How do I say this nicely? It's awkward <laughs> to use a little bit, right? Would you guys agree? The current seeing, seeing a lot of nods. Yeah. So, like, people sent through a request, and if you have a bigger clan, you have to kind of dig through and find when they requested it. They've recently improved it, but I think that's what they're trying to get out of this Destiny 2 migration is fixing some of these issues. How do you feel about it, Fred? You didn't, you didn't manage the IGN clan very much. It's basically no. me and Jay. Yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, on the management side, I couldn't yeah. really speak to it because I haven't had to worry too much about it. But I would say, yeah, it's so in the background. You know, I think that's what they're trying to solve with guided yeah. games and mm -hmm. all this. But, like, quite honestly, I get uh, everyone's thinking, like, wait, i got to migrate my clan. That's a big move. But let, let's face it, we're all going to be playing Destiny 2. That's where your clan should really be. And, like, I honestly, so far, it just seems like a new subfolder to me. It's like, you know, Destiny was the last folder, and now it's Destiny 2, and my clan's yeah. going to be there with all these new features. So... I'm not really concerned about it at all. It was interesting to hear, though, that you had to go through a process, though. Well, I wonder if this is going to affect the achievements tied to being in a clan, etc. I mean, you're going to have to just go back to your D1 if you want to get that last achievement yeah, for completing a strike with a strike team, yeah. etc. How do you feel, Siege? Well, it's weird because I remember thinking when I first started working at IGN about a year and a half ago, I was like, uh, so, Destin, how do I join this IGN clan? I mean, you know. I work here. And I was like, Ugh. Can I be on it? <laughs> He's like, well, let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, did you request access? I was like, yeah, a while ago. He's like, do it again right now. So yeah. it's a bit of a process for sure that I think so that they go sort of. Basically, how it worked forever is you would have to delete your request, and I would have to be on. Because 5 Clan is very large. There's a huge group, like 40,000 people. People Followers, constantly yeah. requesting, and it's hard to explain to them that, hey, there's a hundred slots. I can't just let you all in or with fill up like that. So I have to be really selective, which is why most of the people in there I've played with, or I know Fran's played with, or Sean's played with, and I trust them to make judgments calls about people who are involved. I'm yeah. glad Destiny 2 is addressing this problem. Clans are actually really special to me because uh, the Destiny 1 is awesome. I love letting people in when they've shown that they can be a good uh, host. And especially with guided games coming, those individuals are going to be representing IGN, the Destiny community. And I want us to be that uh, beacon of light, to be corny, uh, in, in that space. That was corny. Yeah. It was. Super corny. It's nice, though. I yeah, and that's starting on July 25th. Uh, is when you can start doing this. There's a there's a slight grace period as you can decide what you want to do, but uh, it's not far away now. It's uh, just under a month, so it's pretty exciting. Got it. So we have a few. So we have half an hour left. We do want to open up the the mic to questions a little later. Let's just see a show of hands. Does anybody have any questions for the show about the show? About once Destiny? we get there. Once we get there. Who's gonna ask question once we get there? Maybe. Got it. Maybe. We have a few. Few. Nice. Got it. You can ask about we'll IGN or time, whatever you want. The time we have left. Yeah. So, friend, next on your list, you wanted to talk a little bit about community stories. Mm -hmm. So maybe you guys might have some community stories to share, but I'll start. And this is something I want to talk about because we're at a community event. We want to talk about community, right? And what's really interesting is the fact that, you know, we all stream. We present a lot. I'm presenting right now. But when the cameras go off when you're not online and when you're just sitting there in destiny with your friends sometimes you know it gets real you start talking about your personal lives and destiny is just the excuse to bring you together deets talks about this a lot and he he's really correct in saying it is it's the excuse to come together with your friends instead of playing cards or going out to the bar you guys meet and you raid once a week or you run the nightfall can anybody identify with that sort of philosophy yeah. How, how many people so. here actually are meeting people for the first time in their clan, since playing right. Destiny? Yeah. About half the audience. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. And even some of you guys are like, hey, we played together, and it's so cool to meet you in person. I met uh, Epsilon Actual, who I've played with for years. And I'm like, dude, hey, I, I haven't met you before in person. It's nice to meet you. Power GPU, I met him for the yeah. first time uh, last year, I think, at Guardian yeah. Con. <laughs> you can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if you close uh, your eyes, you can hear yeah. it. Is that it. Well, yeah, yeah. Click, it. We're, click it walked in. He's like, hey, CJ. I was like, hey, man. Yeah. And I, you never I like, met him. Oh, I hadn't <laughs> met him yet. I was like, his voice sounds a little different, a little more real. Yeah. So That's there's pretty some, cool. There's something about the game where, like, yeah, you come together and you run trials and everything, but then it sort of transcends into this personal relationship where you share real life stuff that is happening with in your life or in their life, and you just kind of have this open dialogue and you talk about stuff. 
I mean, there's yeah. people in chat right now. Yeah, my whole group is going to be getting on Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's that one thing. Uh, I Lovery. Talk a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. talk a lot about the bungee magic, and there's a few pieces to that. But I think one of it is the gun feel. Uh, you just can't. Uh, it's very hard to do what they do with the gun feel in games. And like I said, Destiny 2 feels very different. Um, but feels awesome. And then, I mean, the community. It's like, I can't. I was thinking about it. I just don't have this experience with any other game. Certainly not 2,000 plus hours, but certainly not. You know, I know if Click It is out there, there's a guy Click It um, that we play with, like we were mentioning, but uh, it was like no sweat to say, like, yo, can we share a room uh, at Guardian Con? Like, yeah, of mm -hmm. course. You know, it like, didn't cross my mind. I've never met the dude, you know? So, <laughs> like, that I think speaks to it. Again, are there In people here life. that are staying with people you've never met? How many? Yeah. It's like, it's a pretty good chunk. So it's like 30%. So what is Click It texting me now or something no. like that? Or? <laughs> Probably. <Okay. laughs> well, yeah, Destiny. We, like, hey. we were talking about that yeah. stuff too. It's like even to, to exchange actually real personal information. It's like yeah. how many yeah. times you've given your phone number to somebody you're playing Destiny with. You're like, you some of my rig group has my phone number. Exactly. And you're like, yeah. you know, hit me up on Twitter. Maybe it takes so long. Here's my personal number. And you're like, whoa, uh, I just gave up my phone number to. Uh, and Destin's number is... No, I'm just kidding. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Destin. let me just get that for everybody. So, guys, if you want to share an experience that you've had with somebody else that really was moving, you can line up at the mic or if you have a question. But right now, we're going to actually talk about... Go back to Destiny 1 and talk about Remember When. Mm. For example, do you remember in year one how all the vendors had locked roles, basically? Yep. And how did you get level 30 back in year one? Raid. Yes. Raid. There was one way to do it. Yeah. So I was fine with that. That's totally fine. There was, <laughs> was nothing not. wrong with just grinding for that one piece of gear. And then you had to use, uh, what was it, Ascendant Materials? Yeah. Yeah, Ascendant Shards and Energy for the weapons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Ascendant. Then we moved on to Radiant. And, yeah. Uh, the fact is I don't totally remember when. It's changed so much, you know? Because uh, 30 was the level cap with Vault. And then after when Dark Below came out, it went to 32. And who played Crota the first time at a level 30 and had to unplug the internet connection? Let's oh. just say it. Who did oh, it? Yeah, who, there who, we go. Who there it. we go. I totally did. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> I cheesed the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, who yeah. cheesed the bridge? There we oh, go. Everybody cheesed the bridge. Yeah, that's who, right. Who still cheeses the bridge? Nice. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's a little harder, yeah. but you can it's still harder, do it. It's harder, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, this one was famous. Who shot into a black hole? For many, many hours just to get your blues and greens oh, and purples. Rip the, the loot, loot cave. cave. Yeah. Loot cave. I'm talking about the infamous loot cave <laughs> or master rule. Oh yeah. my god. What you <laughs> That's how we got the twenty? That's how you got the twenty. That's this nice. guy 20. shooting into a black hole. Yeah, not the way they intended the game to be played, but I'm man, surprised it was they patched that out. It seems so fun <laughs> to just sit and shoot spawning With your scout enemies. rifle. Yeah. But, I mean, and, I will say this, though. There was a part of that that was super cool because I don't know how many people I met from the loot cave where I actually became friends with yeah. them. We were like, hey, what are you guys doing? All right, should we walk in there? Yeah, Want to go, go. Uh, shoot at the hole? <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah. good. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's crazy oh, it how that weird. became one of the most iconic things, though, in the game, yeah. the loot cave. You know, That's what everybody talked about because they thought it represented the gameplay in Destiny. The people that dropped out or didn't play, they were like, they still think that's what the game is. No. <laughs> Well, it's changed so much. <laughs> it's not that anymore. I mean, it's you a shoot a lot of stuff and you get yeah. the anger. The Do you have the disturbed remains? Was a nice touch too. Disturbed One remains day. was nice yeah. to go back and, and visit. It. Get it in your yeah. record, record book if you haven't done it yet. It's That's out right. there. You go disturb the remains and get that done. Get your Age of Triumph shirt. Uh, do you have actually getting uh, to 365 by cheesing Omnigol in there on your list? Oh, did no. anybody do How this? Did you do that? That was this is a little harder. That's Rise yeah. of Iron. There's yeah, and Rise of Iron. Sorry. Oh, like you just use swords on Omnigol before she flew up, and you kept you would wipe and just keep. Oh like, yeah, going. I did that. Hands, and, hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there just kept you dropping yeah. higher and higher in Engrams until you. They hit passed the that cap. one pretty quick. <laughs> Again, not the way to play it, but we also were racing to get to the raid. We raid actually, ready. That was when we faced off against Destiny Community Podcast Fireteam Chat versus. Well, Destiny that was later. Podcast. I actually. Oh, that ran was Age of with, I ran sorry, with right. Holtzman and Tefty and those guys. You ran with Holtz. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he said you weird. were really bad. That's nah, pretty bad. <laughs> I yeah. recall hearing that. Yeah. There it is. Holtz, are you out? Yeah. There it is. Yeah, why don't you ever raid with <laughs> this, Destin? This, is, this uh, is what it's really like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you have you played with him since? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. 
I don't play with you much anymore. No? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, uh, so who has Flawless Raider? Lots of people. Who got Flawless Raider in year one on Vault of Glass? Ooh, that's right. That's the coveted. Oh, These are the true not, heroes. Wow, nice. that's the them. That's, that's you the don't grind, know the yeah. struggle, the pain. When you, the jumping puzzle was terrifying because of the geometry would like throw you off of that ledge. Did, did you <laughs> yeah, try yeah. it on oh, both? You, yeah, when you oh, go. yeah. It's the yeah. only thing I actually, one of the few achievements and beating it with the IGN clan because I haven't, uh, I didn't get in until a few months back. So yeah. <laughs> there's a couple things I got to do here for the record book. That's yeah. one of them. I totally, did you all have to have the same clan tag too? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Help me out, guys. Do you know somebody in the IGN clan that I can play with, maybe? Only on Vault. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, I totally didn't care. Not because I don't think it's cool. It was that, that I, I like rewards for that type of stuff. I really appreciate the skill and what you guys put into it. And whoever carried Destin through, thank you. Nobody uh, carried me. <laughs> I contributed. <laughs> but seriously, though, I, I don't know. I've never really been into those types of achievements. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't get like a physical drop. Those are the things I chase with the time I have. Yeah. Um, that's just me. Someone, I'm not condemning it, obviously. But when someone's searching for your name and they want to yeah, like, they check think your I'm a loser because they're didn't like, do "Hey, Fran, you got to step up your game." You know, oh, get that he doesn't have the grimoire for that. Yeah, you, that you're too. out. That that's too. true. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what else do we have here? I, I have a memory I, that I, I it's, go for it. I want to just share to people. Uh, how many remember getting stuck uh, playing? Prison of Elders at Skola. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. The whole crew. How many of you remember the first weekend Solar Burn was on and you brought your yes. Galahorn? Yes. I do. I missed that. Galahorn or else. So, who got into a situation where you tried to beat it for so long and then there was another little glitch that came in where two people would wait into the middle of prison? You're like, Okay, drop out now, load in now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember yeah. that? Because yeah, there are no checkpoints. There's no checkpoints in it. So one of the first times I had actually played Skolas was with Destin. Yeah. And I don't know if I've ever told this story, but look at it. Look at his face. <laughs> He's still feeling the memories. We did not talk for a while afterwards. <laughs> so as we're talking about all these warm, like, fuzzy De break. Destiny memories, the time that Destin and I played uh, Skolas was actually, I think it was uh, Arc Burn. Which is brutal because all the did. ads shoot mm -hmm. arc. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh, yeah, this will be great. I'll jump in with Destin. This was pre-me working at IGN. I was like, this will be great. I'll, I'll do Skull Loss with him. We'll beat him. We'll be best friends for life. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> De Destin, I don't think, he was like, after we lost with, with Skull Loss this much hell, he's like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, man. Did I, was, it, was it like I just shut off my console and left? <laughs> was it that bad? I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. this is not good. But we, yeah, we I pulled my internet later. cord to not talk to <laughs> CJ anymore. This is actually a good one to hit on. How many people have like legitimately gotten mad at your clanmates or like either raged quit or like something pretty serious? <laughs> Pubin's out there. You got mad. Yeah. How many of you like a serious like I'm out like headsets down? Yeah, it's like probably Often. 20, 20, 30 percent. You get there. We always talk about trials dicey. destroying I friendships. I get real salty. I don't know if you guys watch uh, the streams, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of nice that I'm still accepted <laughs> after that. <laughs> like they're like, we get it. It's destiny. Yeah, you know. Hey, since you mentioned prisons, and I have this microphone, can I do? Oh, who no remembers right. this? Destroy minds or die. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Nicely done. I love you, barracks, man. You're going to have to do your Zavala next. I can do Zavala, too. Yeah. Maybe if we still have time. I'm, yeah. I'm ready. So. Go, go. Save yeah. it. Let's all save right, it. all right, all right. We'll save it. Save yeah. it. What else do we have here? Okay. How many of you wanted to do a raid, but you didn't have Galahorn, so you, they wouldn't let you in? Did that ever Ooh, happen to you? Wow. Oh, man. You got rejected from Galley? And did yeah. you guys not get it all year one? Like, is there anybody who didn't? Okay, Never so. got it. Ooh, ow. And you who, bought it after. Who yeah, bought it bought from Zer? Wow. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It, that was the worst. So we do have an old IGN editor. Quick story. Craig Baradon. He drops in one time. Like, oh, guys. You, yeah, you need a Yeah, you need a six for Crota? Yeah, we do. Okay. At he, Death Singers. We were sitting there. At I remember. Death Singers. He jumps in. We beat Crota. For like five minutes. Five and he hadn't minutes. played in weeks. Yeah. No, all of us get nothing. He gets the Galahorn drop. We're like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've never been so mad at somebody for getting a drop. But I was like, <laughs> it's like that's what, that speaks to Destiny. You really, you're like, C congrats, man. Oh, I hate, I hate you. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're mostly yelling at them. You're so mad at them. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I really love you. I'm man. very yeah. happy for you. <laughs> the rules were bad back then, man. Uh, that's just how it was. So. Struggle. 
What else we got, Destin? Let me take a look at our run of show here. Did so, I actually took a look back to, okay, who remembers the weekend Trials of Osiris launch? Did anybody play in that first week? Because that's when I could actually win without getting carried. Oh, really? So wow. that was a long time ago. What was the difference on that weekend? Anything just fresh base of players? I mean, and nobody knew what to do Nobody yet. really knew what it was yet. Right. So I took a look back to when we previewed it. A little bit of a humble brag here. But I said... I remember uh, this quote. He said it. Hopefully you become accustomed to those power advantages because there's another mode coming to the Crucible where you can reap amazing rewards if your Guardian can go the distance. The new mode is one of the best multiplayer experiences I've ever had. Trials of Osiris, an intense 3v3 match between, between Guardians that forces your team to work together in ways Destiny hasn't done before. Mm -hmm. uh, the added stakes for losing and rewards for winning made each and every match exhilarating. Would you... Would you think that I was kind of right? Trials is pretty fantastic, or no? So yay, hands. So no. So so, so I, people don't think it's maybe. good. So, hang on. So, so what's something that was better than trials? Raids. 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 Of course. PVP yeah. experiences specifically. You'll have to Iron come Banner? to the mic. So it's Iron here. Banner. He's Iron this Banner? guy says Iron Banner. Okay. More people like I love Iron Banner. I won't argue with that. Mayhem. Mm. But but what about, what about Trials Year it's, 1? Trials Year 1? Year 1? Okay. So everybody likes one. Crimson Doubles? Are you trolling? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> really? Okay. Wasn't on no. long enough. <laughs> Wasn't on long enough. I, yeah. Who thinks, like, Trials is just too hard and that's why you don't play? Are there any of those people that it's... Yeah. Like, is it too... Okay. Let me... Two questions. First, sorry. The first hands are the environment is too hard. It's just too hard to face off against people. Too many sweaties. Okay. Yeah. The second question is, is it just too Sorry. hard to find people and match up? Who's in that variety? Okay, it's a little of both. Column A, column B on that Interesting. one. Interesting. Yeah. So <laughs> The meta so, also sucks according to that guy. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, lag, so you guys are in the mindset of, I have to use Icebreaker, I have to use a sidearm. It's been botched, basically. That's what you're saying. I get that. I, I kind of agree. I do not like that special ammo is the only way to get gear or ammo for your weapons. I guess I'm talking more about in its heyday where everything was sort of normal, where pistol or hand cannons were still usable. Like maybe not, maybe Thorn's a bad example, but <laughs> yeah, when uh, they normalized Thorn everything. Last word. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, just to bring it back to Destiny Few for a few, a uh, couple. Um, with Countdown, which we've got to play a few times now, I mean, it's 4v4 versus 3v3. A lot of people talk about, like, is it too close to Trials? Like, do you guys feel like, is it too competitive? Um, curious what your thoughts are. Who likes 6v6 versus 4v4? 6v6? Who's excited about 4v4? Well, okay. wow. Both. I'm actually really surprised. Awesome. Yeah. The diehards are ready for that 4v4, yeah, man. Definitely. The sweats are coming. I mean, I can I see it. <laughs> I like I like the competitive mode of trials. I will say I remember burning shrine for trials was week one. Uh, there is something unique, and Destiny Two is going to give you the same experience when you go into the unknown and you're not quite sure what to expect. That's why year one trials was awesome. If you even didn't get a chance to go to the lighthouse, you'd heard somebody who did. You weren't sure what the weapons were. You saw cool people walking around the tower with neat armor. There's a lot of reasons why just that being involved in the game was cool. But I hear what you're saying. Over the years with weapon balances and tweaks, yeah, it's been a lot different to play Trials now. Yeah, versus but what about Countdown, you know, 4v4 that you've played Countdown, in Destiny 2? Do you think it's too close to Trials, or does it not feel like Trials? No, to me, Countdown does not feel yeah. like Trials. Yeah. Having an objective where you have to push and then that's where the center focal point is. Right. It's a totally different. Yeah. Thing without than the trials. res, it's definitely different. But I, yeah. again, just sort of since it's you know something we've played that four v four, it does change it. But uh, to me, again, with the time to kill and that just new balance, it, it is a change game in the way you get power weapons and everything, um, which who knows could change by beta or whatever. But I mm -hmm. really dig it, man. I love yeah, the feel. But again, fun. maybe it's because the current meta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe that's why I like it so much. I can't tell. <laughs> definitely. Uh, one other memory from Destiny 1. D how many of you guys did Nightfalls back in the day to get your XP boost? Mm -hmm. Basically all oh, of us, Oh, the right? XP boost. Uh -huh. yep. Do you guys remember that we used to get kicked out of the whole event if your whole team wiped? <laughs> that was awful. 
I love that yeah. they experimented yeah. with that, though. Like, I mean, I'm not saying it really was awesome in the end, but I love that they were willing to try something so punishing. I, mean, I didn't yeah. like it because I'm bad at the game, but I'm just saying <laughs> it did add weight, though, to your adventure with yes. your team of three. So it's like, we have to do this. And you have, get a lot of those clutch moments where one person's left, and he's like, I'm just going to hide. All yeah. right, countdown timer. I'm going yeah. for it. Going in biz. <laughs> he goes and gets the res, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest. It was almost like the difference between you know a normal raid versus a hard raid. When hard yeah. raid came along, you couldn't die. Um, how many people were primarily warlock initially for the raids on account of being able to res? I'll admit it. Yeah, I yeah. rezzed it up, man. I mean, that's the thing. Like it was, it was tough. I, I'm a hunter main. I always call this a squishy class. Like I don't know what it is. Like you, you want to take the damage, but it just doesn't work. And there's so many times I've been jealous of those warlocks in that raid hard mode. That's why I had three of them, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> I honestly oh, did. Fran. How many people, including Fran, are going to miss self-res? Oh, I am. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of people on my... I'm going to miss it because my raid team has, like, three warlocks <laughs> who rely on it often. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh, you guys, it's going to be a little tricky. I think it makes tricky. sense, though, as, uh, you know, you're always holding on to it to get, get out of a jam. I don't. I liked it, but I don't know if that was the right way to use the the super. So. And that's one of the things you know, just from looking at the new supers, it's like they're much more roaming attack supers mm -hmm. versus wait and see. You know, yeah. your your resing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that affects the gameplay. Because even now, the res timer, if you are playing a game like Countdown where you can res somebody, um, now you can't just run up to their body. You know, sometimes, have you ever experienced you're trying to, like, shoot somebody and they're hiding behind the dead person's ghost? Have you ever had that? Yeah. Or, or even worse, you pull out your rocket launcher and you're like, yeah, I got this guy. Boom. And you explode into nothing because you shot the dead orb. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things like that you can't do. You There's, you know, a res timer now where if you get, you start to res, if you can take damage, there's, it eliminates the timer, so you can't just yeah. spam that activity and that kind of function anymore. Yeah, so it's all subject to change changes, again. But like yeah, the beta can so be far, yeah. we'll see. So here's but. something we can talk about. We can talk about the subclasses of the Destiny 2 mains. We played Arc Strider, we played Titan Striker, and we played uh, Dawnblade. Yes. Of course. Yeah. So let's start with Arc Strider because it's the newest one. We experienced it at E3. Yeah. And, well, to be honest, at Bungie. Yeah. But to me, it's very similar to Blade Dancer, mm -hmm. the, the pacing, the abilities that you have at your disposal. How do you guys feel about it? Yeah, I mean, of course you have the, the dodge. Yeah, and having Shade, shade step. step. So that's the thing. Now that you can actually have Shade Step in there as a hunter, it's super cool because that was always the main reason why. Who plays as a Void Hunter? Any Void Hunters around here? Do you primarily use that for Shade Step? Yeah. So yeah, now you don't. You yeah, so now to. you don't have to. So being able to take that and, you know, go back and forth between, you know, the two supers there, it's really like weird. You always have a dodge, You always right? have a dodge. So, yeah, within the context of, you know, that super, it's kind of nice. It's, you know, it refills it, and there's a bunch of positive things in that. Yep. Yeah, and I think it's worth reminding, like, keeping up with it. You guys probably know. You played over 2,000 hours. But the reminder of the details, you know, there's two forms of the dodge. Mm -hmm. One, you know, that might... Um, one instantly reloads your ammo, one instantly one reloads Blink yeah. Strike. So you're making well, not these... Blink Strike, but a heavier melee. Yeah, yeah. so you're yeah. making these choices of how you use your dodge, and then when you pop your super, uh, and that's where I'm leading with this, um, it encourages you to kind of dodge your way towards people. That's what I thought was interesting about... Um, uh, what did I just... Arc... Arc Strider? Arc Strider. Arc Strider. Pulled answer is I know, what he wanted to say. Know. He I wanted to say pulled for answer. I was waiting for it. Right, I was friend. trying not to say it because that's what everybody at the reveal event started calling it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what and it's it is, be called. you kind of dance your way to the enemy. Yeah. So I think it's an eloquent way to put it. But it feels great. And I think if you really start nailing, nailing that strategy, I think it's great. You know, again, it's really hard to compare the two because the meta and everything is different. But as someone who just got into a hunter about a year ago, I mean, I think it feels great. Uh, the connection feels better, though. So I don't feel like yeah. I have the little tiny blades. I've now got a pole. And yeah. I feel like that fixes for that distance problem. So it feels great on that front. Mm -hmm. From Definitely. an ability standpoint, before you move on, because I want to find out what you think, too. Uh, as a hunter, I wish that that ability was a little bit more shared. Like, I know that they're figuring out, you know, and it's not final, but I feel like the Titan, you know, shield and then the Warlock you know, damage or healing pool. It's mm -hmm. just such a super powerful ability in comparison to the hunter. So I don't know, man. Dodge is great. It's you, good. You know, everybody talked about shade step being OP. It's, it's hard good. to say in this, but uh, when, you, when you it's only hard have to it compare now. it to the Titan Shield. 
because yeah. we haven't played that yet. That's right. No, the, abil- <laughs> the ability, like just with the bringing up yeah. the, yeah, yeah, the bubble. other class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the Titan <laughs> ability we can talk about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, so the Arc Strider, or not Arc Strider, the... Uh, Striker Titan. Striker Titan. Yeah. Striker Titan. Uh, Striker Titan basically, shield. it's a mix of what is currently your Hammer Titan. Mm-hmm. I just call everything by weird names, just yeah. like whatever I call it's my team. Anyway, so it's <laughs> like you got your shoulder charge, which makes I love using the shoulder charge. I use it current right now with my Solar Titan because it lets you cross vast distances quickly, and you can still do that in Destiny 2, and that I'm really, really excited about. Plus, once you get in, you can slam. So it's going to be harder for people to get away from you because you can dash in there and then slam and get a group of them. And I really, really like that. I think it's going to be powerful. You can also zigzag, which makes you a harder target to hit. Yeah. How do you zigzag? Is that like the dodge type of thing? Fran has never rolled a Titan. (laughs) So I'm going to be next weekend, actually. Yeah. It's going to happen. before. I'm going to do it before. Twist.tv slash FM3 underscore. Yeah, if you want to plug it, sure. Yeah. So you're going to delete your Warlock? Do you have enough vault space to do that? He doesn't. No, I do. I do. I'm fine on that. You're lying. It's not a problem. Lying. So anyway, with the new subclass, you can kind of dash back and forth. You still have lightning grenades and uh, grenade options. I always go lightning. That's still my go-to. But even the grenades have changed. They take a second to power up. Like you throw them on a piece of geometry, and then they stay there for a sec. Then they pop, and then they're protecting your, like, I use lightning grenades sort of like a zoning mechanism. Does anybody do that? Like if you're trying to lock off a room, you have your armamentarium, you double lightning grenade it. You're just like, all right, that side's covered. I'll focus down this hallway. Uh, That's going to be a little trickier in Destiny 2 because of that time to detonate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the time to detonate is longer. Is what you're saying. Yeah, it takes a second. Even with uh, all grenades, really, they take longer to uh, prime, I guess would be the terminology. Yeah, and just like, yeah, the new recover uh, agility, etc. the new stats, like, man, it, it takes a while. Now, we don't know if it's our gear that we've just been playing with or the balance. We don't know what a tier 12 is, um, but it, it just takes a while to get stuff back sometimes, and you're not used to that. Like, nades especially, or like Shade Step was the one, the dodge now. You, you really had to be strategic about when you were going to use it. Now, I don't know if the final game will be like that, but I found myself in those situations like, wait, don't dodge, where like with Shade, I'm just constantly, as much as I can, tap, 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 getting out of situation, and then I accidentally teabag someone because it's not powered <laughs> up fully. It's always an accident. accident. I don't teabag. Do not teabag at Destiny happen. unless you have been teabagged, by the way, <laughs> or stickied. Then it's Then they okay. deserve it. Bringing it back to the Titan. Sorry, a trigger. The Titan ability. The Titan ability is like a large shield or a shorter one that you can crouch under and then kind of pop over to... Uh, mm. fight enemies. I, I really like the versatility of that. I usually go half shield unless, I guess really it depends on the map that you're hopping into. Well, and even if, you know, when you're, yeah, if you think about what the, yeah, the verticality of it, that's the thing. Like, I, I tried the shorter shield too and I found that, yeah, you need to kind of like maneuver and creep your way around in there. It's a little bit difficult to, to do that, but it does make sense to be able to reload your yeah. uh, weapon. Got but it. you, do you, since I don't play a Titan so far, do you have any kind of preference versus how it felt before? Uh, I mean, yeah, it feels a little different. It's a mix of two different powers. I feel like it's very versatile. I feel like I'm going to do a lot of work with the Striker subclass on the Titan. And we haven't actually seen both ways it can be unlocked, right. utilized yet. Because yeah. mm. there's so, like another tier of skills or whatever that we haven't seen. But yeah. I mean, is it in going in the right direction, do you think? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Okay. I think it might be OP. Yeah, I think it might be too yeah. powerful. Or, because, really? Because of I that Titan, ability. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't have a ranged attack, but you just cover that distance and you slam, and you don't need a ranged attack. Yeah. So we'll it's see how people man. play with it. It's going to be really interesting to see high-level play in Destiny 2. Yeah. The last subclass we're going to talk about, of course, is the Warlock. Dawnblade. Dawnblade. Fran, you've had the most experience with this. Yeah. I haven't let CJ talk very much, though. CJ, That's how do fine. you feel about Standard. the Dawnblade? Uh, I, like the, I like the Dawnblade. I mean... I will say that uh, just the sound implementation of those things, yeah. uh, I was you know, playing some PvP there, and I remember somebody activated it, activating it, and being near it, the sound it makes, and yeah, it's screeching by, it's like, yeah. it's, it's mine. I didn't do it justice. Where's Dave Samuel when we I need know. him? Yeah, he'll help us out. Yeah, that uh, it's, guy at Bungie that makes all those sounds. It's really good, though. When, you, when you're hovering, I love that moment when you activate it, where you actually do feel like you can fly. I mean, the, the nicest thing with the Warlock is... You can fly. You can, pretty much, yeah. You're hovering almost yeah. indefinitely, and that feeling... Um, like I kind of equate it to Shade, uh, the Void Hunter, a little bit. When you extend your bow, you just get that extra little bit of like elevation yeah. there, and you do that. There's that it feels really good Stretch. when you activate Dawnblade with Warlock. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the interesting part about Dawnblade, we played both in campaign uh, as well as PvP. We've had access to that. Um, when you get up in the air, you have, yeah, you have that, like, whoosh dodge to move around. Um, and, man, it just really is a totally different super. That's what I like about it is, mm. okay, fine, res is no longer a thing, but, man, Dawnblade is so cool. It looks cool. And uh, just to piggyback off what you were saying, guys, the audio in Destiny 2 is amazing. So good. It's amazing. It's really uh, I can't good. wait to see everything that Shaq's going to say, but just the sounds uh, that we've heard so far, there's so, it's the same with the game feel, man. Like Everything mm -hmm. feels a uh, different sort of silky smooth, and it sounds amazing. I, I mean, obviously, I'm just, I can't wait to play it, so I think everything is amazing about it. But, um, I mean, right? Doesn't it sound incredible? Yeah. Yes, it does. So, like, yeah. you activate it, and it's, you can hear the embers of the flames in the background. There's and when so you so much detail. When you throw it, it's like, shoo. Yeah. yeah. I don't know well, how to make that noise. That's <laughs> better. Noise. We're going to go to that next, though. Yeah. But, so, actually, start thinking about your favorite weapon from Destiny 1 and the sound it makes. Ooh. Because oh, we're boy. all going to do sound <laughs> effects here in a second. Oh. Brand new. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. your opportunity. Uh, yeah, I really like Dawn Blade. I think it's going to be really interesting. A lot of the mechanics from Destiny 1, like grenades, we're going to have the, the big orb grenades that just sit there and cook. But we're also going to have stickies, which is what yeah. everybody will use because it'll become the meta but again. They don't one-hit the kill. They yeah. don't one-hit kill yeah. in PvP. Yeah. They're not the same. Yeah, you can't one-hit kill with They the take a lot longer to recharge. I found that when playing, I kept going for my grenade because I'm like, yeah, I have maxed this. No, I don't. That doesn't exist <laughs> anymore. i got to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. And that's going to even the playing field and change things up. So did we want to try to take a memory or a question from anyone? If uh, Is our mic yeah. hot over here? It is? Yes, it is. So there's a mic set up right over here. It's your last opportunity. We've got about 10 minutes left. Yeah. All right, we have a few people standing up. Yeah, I think up. that's what I was cueing. I wasn't yeah. sure because Destin, I think, was looking to see if anyone was going to line up. Yeah, I looked over there a few times. Yeah. Somebody had lined up, yeah. So this is your opportunity to ask us anything you would like. Uh, we also have Twitch up here. Apologize for the audio quality. This one's going to go incognito later. We're going to post the higher level audio quality mix down tonight when I get back to the apartment and I edit. He meant it. YouTube fire team chat, by the Sorry, way. Sorry, YouTube. Out I there. keep saying Twitch. It's fine. Bad habit. So we have uh, our first gentleman up. What would you like to share with us today? All right, first question. Uh, do you guys remember your first exotics? My first yeah, I do. exotic. I yeah. got it right Invective. away. Invective. Invective was my first exotic. I love that thing in the Crucible. That was before they touched shotguns, and you could tear it up with that thing. So what about OP, you, so broken. <laughs> uh, my first was a legendary Engram drop that I rolled, and it got Plan C, man. Like unbelievable. I was freaking Good out, one. and I love Good fusions. One. Dream come true. Well, so the first one that I was really excited about getting was Plan C. I got a drop of Plan C, and that. I mean, I'm a fusion rifle guy. Any fusion rifle guys out there? Didn't it hurt and when girls. they nerfed them in year two, guys, <laughs> gals? It is one of those things where, yeah, like that fusion rifle I still think was probably, you know, Thesen, Saladin's Vigil, you know, but Plan C was just the right fusion rifle for an exotic. Yeah. Thank you. To, thank thank you. you so much oh, for What was your question. name? Yeah. Uh, Lennis. Thanks. Lennis, Everybody thanks, coming up. Sure also, shout out name. to John Snow for his first exotic drop being a Hawk Moon over on YouTube. Ooh. Yes, sir. What would you like to ask us? All right. In Destiny 2, what do you guys utilize for the D-pad? For the D-pad? Yeah, what's being utilized. I mean, that's emotes still. Yeah, it's, it's still, still the same system yeah. as it it's is. Emotes, um, yeah. Again, it's a subject to change, but it is still the same uh, as far as we know. Yeah. How do you switch weapons? Still circle? Same. Uh, it's all the same. Yeah, pretty standard. Good question, though. Good Thank questions. you so much for asking. Yeah. He's got one more. Titan Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> got Thank you, sir. In. Best question <laughs> so far. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Yes. How's, how's it going? I'm the Helmet Fire. I was. Uh, oh yeah. I was wondering if, um, if y'all remember, it was a uh, year one memory. So year one memory. I was wondering if, uh, in Crota's raid, where you know everyone had the glitches, you had the sword glitch. There was so it was just plagued. You know, it was really bad. But I was wondering if anybody remembers having that scenario where, you guys run back in the room and it's like he's rotating around and then he's like YOLO comes in the room yes. in the crystal room and yep. smashes everybody. Yes. Did you like, ever did you ever had that happen? That happened a few times and it's kind of like get out everybody out <laughs> yeah. run yeah. away. Yeah. I got that totally remember it whether it was him getting up off his knee yeah. or something else glitching out like him falling off or yes yeah, suddenly he's on the uh, in the, the other side. It's scary. <laughs> it was not fun. And Thank even you. thinking of the heavy glitch, right? Like how yeah. many like use icebreakers yeah. the first time? You're like, okay, make yeah. sure you're all. Oh, empty. heavy glitch was <laughs> too yeah. much work, yeah. man. Thank you so much. Thanks, Helmet yeah, Fire. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, for Destiny 2, uh, I don't know how loud I am, but uh, 
What uh, if you could only use one subclass for Destiny Two, like a character? Which one would you pick? Okay. Well, we haven't seen all the subclasses yet, so that's oh, a real that's, difficult yeah, question yeah. to answer. Based, on, what you Based know. on the three that we're allowed to talk about that we know, <laughs> Titan. For me, what about you, friend? Uh, CJ, do you know your answer yet? I need a second. Oh, come on. There's three. Uh, okay, okay. Can we commit I mean, to one subclass hit, forever? Exactly. That takes a second. I, I will say this. I want to say Hunter, but again, the Titan with that shield, like I feel like from a PvP standpoint and a bunch of the raid stuff, it's it's super overpowered. I think yeah. I might, might be Titan. Titan's going to be viable. Uh, we have, uh, you're going to say Warlock. Next question. No. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh, I play so much... PvP these days. He's See, struggling this later. But He's no, struggling I, I think internally. actually, um, Ark Hunter, I might go. Same. I might go. Yeah. Same. There you go. So good in PvP. All right. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> hi there. Uh, my name is Luke. Uh, hey, Luke. Hi. Uh, earlier, you guys were talking about like the community and some of the stories you guys have. Yeah. And I just wanted to give a shout out. Like, I know a lot of us here all come from different parts of the world. You know, we all met up online. Yeah. Decided, Make sure you like, shout out right into the mic. So everybody yeah. If you can get you. a little closer, I know it's yeah, good. We want get you closer. To. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, I got people from Connecticut, from Michigan. I'm from New Jersey. Just all sorts of people meeting up here. And I think it's a great time. I wanted to just applaud all of that for another. Yes. Year. Yeah. yeah. Thank we you want to hear for that. Coming yeah. out. Definitely. And then uh, there was my, a guy from Ireland I met today. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then my question to you is, assuming that A, you haven't played it, and B, you're allowed to talk about it, what do you think is going to be happening with the Voidwalker Super? Totally speculation. With the Voidwalker Super? What is going to happen with it? I don't know. Yeah, it's I still think it's still there. Well, I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm be sure to check out IGN of, first yeah. in July. <laughs> Confirmed. Okay. <laughs> For What's more that information, over there? what is Great that question. down there? Interesting. Uh, 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 yeah. I think there's bungee snipers up in the rafters. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I saw the red I saw light. Red, oh gosh. There was a red dot. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, real quick before we move on, who else is from Canada? Because I always get. Uh, they, I'm from Canada. Canada? Nobody else Whoa, is Canada. No Sorry, bro. All right. I'm looking for a miss. I'm hey, representing Canada. Before this gentleman goes, I do I totally encourage you, if you have a story to share versus a question, that's totally yeah. okay. Like a really impact. Maybe you married someone you never had met originally. Anyway, <laughs> that happened. That story. We want that happen. happen. Yes, sir. Uh, so this is a question, not a story. Sorry to disappoint. Um, looking back at year one, uh, a lot of the memories people made in the game were, were uh, tied to loot. Like everyone remembers when they got their Galahorn. Yeah. Everyone remembers when they got their Fatebringer. Um, I remember when the Taken King came out, uh, one of the things Destin lamented about on the show was that loot didn't feel special anymore. I still feel that way. Um, based huh. on what you've seen in Destiny 2, like uh, either just the legendary weapons or even like some of the exotics you've gotten to preview, do you feel like we're going to get that back, that like loot feels special, or is it just going to be more like exotics Great that question. Really just good feel question. That is, like kind of better legendary? That is a fantastic question, mm -hmm. and yes, 100%. I think those exotics are going to hold weight the way that they did in year one, and you're going to be stoked when you get them. Now... Yeah. I mean, because... We all want that, obviously. Yeah. If all those vendor rolls are static, like, if that's what you get when you get that from the vendor, that's what you get when you get that drop, think about how more powerful those exotics are going to be. You know they have those perks that are going to be, like, regenerate life or... Uh, the, what's the one we use? This sure, uh, sunshot, sunshot, sunshot. Sunshot. We already yeah. know it causes popcorn head explosions. It's, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's like um, every they time described it yeah. as more of a body. You can change like when it explodes, it can make others explode. So when you get in PVE, yeah. it like chains itself apparently or something like that. Yeah. So there's going to be powerful combinations that you're going to be able to I, equip, and I think it's going to bring back that feeling that I did discuss on the show that I did feel like was sort of detracted from the game when you got those exotics. Yeah. I. I think it was weird reacting to that Luke Smith quote today, like, you know, the RNG might be gone. And I was like, no, but the perfect role. But then actually, yeah. I never get it, by the way. <laughs> um, so more than ever, thinking about that question, man, great. I'm thinking, wait, yeah, and how they're going to strategically drop and balance, I think, more than ever by far, when you yeah. really think about it, it's like you're going to have to get this legendary or yeah. this exotic. 
What about you, Siege? I think the biggest thing is, like, what's going to be the next Gallahorn? Like, for me, that <laughs> moment was, yeah. you know, that was there. I mean, everybody either chased, you know, Hawkmoon, Gallahorn. Zero will sell it week one, and you, we, <laughs> none of us will buy it. We'll be yeah, like, rock it. We'll have that again. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I hope there's definitely that. Do you remember when you didn't buy Gallahorn because you thought Rocket sucked yes. in year one? Because I do. <laughs> I, I, and I kicked myself. And forever. Icebreaker, I skipped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. But that so. Zero's, I needed the yeah. Zero's. Anyway, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. <laughs> Owns the mic. I like it. Yeah. So, do you think that the DLC packs, like the first two DLC packs, Rasputin and Osiris? Yeah. Do you think those will be more to the side of the small DLC packs, like Dark Below and House of Wolves, mm -hmm. or more to the larger ones, like Taken King and Rise of Iron? Good question. So, I actually have no idea what they're going to do. They haven't really discussed it, but what do I think they're going to do? I think they're going to continue to control the messaging about how much they're focusing on story. That is paramount to them. That is what they're focusing on in their press materials. And I think they're going to continue reinforcing that idea. What do you yeah, guys think? Yeah, fast answer since we're running out of time. I yeah. think that... <laughs> it's funny I had it, then I was thinking about losing time. Yes, I think they're going to be like Rise of Iron Size. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Probably okay. like that. That's I, what I'm thinking. I think the roadmap, it's like if they release smaller content more often... I would like that. So if that's what happens, that'd be great. Definitely. Okay. Let's take one more, and then sorry, that'll have to be the last yeah. one. But you can talk to us after yeah, the we'll show. Yeah, we'll come talk We're after. Here. So what's up, sir? All right. Uh, with the changes with the upcoming uh, game, with the time to kill and all that, I, I noticed that Bungie's going back to its roots. Would a good homework assignment before Destiny 2 is to replay Reach and change the control settings since the Xbox One, you can reconfigure your controls so you get used to the time to kill and the... Uh, way the grenades work, or is there another game that's a better homework assignment before the Destiny 2 beta? Oh, for Destiny you rephrase 2. That? I had he trouble. wants to know, with the time to kill changes, is there a game that he could play to get ready for oh. Destiny 2's combat, correct? Yeah, I just wonder if the uh, Reach would be a good... No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I wonder if uh, no. Reach with the reconfigured controls Not would at be all. a good idea. Yeah, um, <laughs> honestly, I can't think of anything to compare it to. Uh, so I played a lot of Halo Reach and Halo 3, and I will say it's similar to those. It's definitely, like, there's not a lot of weapons that do three-shot kills or, you know, like the way the current Destiny is with hand cannons. So, yeah, I think it's a combination of figuring out the weapon distance, uh, the weapon impact. Yeah, range. The, the, yeah, the range is a lot of little things, but it is noticeable noticeably slower like it's it's not very fast and you do feel it so yeah maybe maybe one of those it's like it is closer to those yeah. all right well thank you so much for your question guys thank i want you. to do one more fun thing before we sign off you know what we do at the end of the show right maybe three That's two one guardians out yeah. we do well, so well all the time yeah. right i'm gonna Are record you? it on my <laughs> phone Maybe, Destin, maybe what we should do, since we have the, like, do you want to do just right. them, and then we'll cut our picture in from that one later? That's right. All up right, yeah, you. let's up do that. You. I we think it might be easier around. from here. Well, well I think we'll be able work? to, we yeah. might have to do two. Yeah. Let's right. do the, this will work good. Destin will film you, right. we're, that camera's filming us, and we can piece it together later, Easy. right? I can't move. I'm not allowed to move. Uh, but yeah, make sure, you, we're going to do the full thing. He's going to say, yeah. until next time. Then yeah. you all point and say, Guardians out. You guys so, nailed the intro, so just do yeah. that again. <laughs> Fran has trouble keeping up with my outros. No. Are you ready, Fran? Yeah, I just want to make sure, because <laughs> right. it's been a problem uh, that they knew. Was, Until next time, Guardians we, out. We have and, meetings about this yeah. every week. <laughs> Destin, but let's talk no, about your outro. The show. Fire team chat. But uh, we want it to be the loudest, biggest Guardian yeah. out ever. So if all you're right. willing, help us out. All right. So, everybody, until next time, Guardians out! Chat's ears just died. Thank you. Now, nice. Destin, Destin you, your you, face, everybody. your face, you were covering your face, so you got to do one more with the camera behind. What? We'll do an executive edit This is what here. happens when you have three producers right. on stage. Yeah. You turn Think around, we got time now. for one do more? A selfie. Do, a, do selfie, a selfie, Destin. Yeah. All right. It's the selfie Ellen mode. Show. That's it. He knows. He knows. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, are you guys ready? All right. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right, three, two, one. Guardians out. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Go. Thank you to our hosts at Guardian Con. Thank you to all the attendees. Thank you, everyone. And thanks for watching the show, guys. It was awesome. Thank you. Bye, YouTube. Great meeting you guys. Thank you on audio as well. <laughs> Hey, we're live at Guardian Con, so we still have to do our end bumper. Oh, guys, don't forget, you can watch all of our episodes here.
Or over here, you can subscribe. And if I kind of that's click it. He carries us through trials. That's CJ. Did that's you just forever. put the thing over my face? Yeah, sure. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, we only have 20 seconds. Thanks for watching, guys. Shout out to Guardian Con. Congrats on a million. Bye.